So it seemed like you guys really enjoyed my last video talking about the Japanese market. And it's pretty weird how the world works. I was scrolling through YouTube and I like to filter my YouTube searches by smaller channels. And I found a Pokemon YouTube channel called Gem Pools. And he was talking about getting back into selling Japanese Pokemon cards. He runs a small Pokemon business out of his home, I believe. And some of his thoughts on the Pokemon market, comparing the English market to the Japanese market, I thought that he made some really good points. One of the really good points that he made is that even though English is having its great shine right now, a lot of people are being priced out. And I made that exact same point in my previous video. If you guys want to check that one out, I'm going to leave it right around here. But the points that really caught my eye is when he was talking about how vendors are pretty much happy with the prices right now of Japanese booster boxes then the sellers of Japanese booster boxes are also happy and of course us buyers collectors are very happy because we get to open some of the best sets and pull some of the best cards in Japanese at a very low price it's just fun it's just it's finally nice to see that the market in Japanese has returned to what it is, but he and I don't think that that's going to last too much longer if the English market continues to be this popular. So with that all being said, I got some examples to back some of these statements. So it'd be silly not to talk about surging sparks and super electric breakers. In my personal opinion, if you guys want to just open some cards, I said this a million times before, and potentially pull or chase that Pikachu, the Booty Chew, the Twerket Chew, whatever you want to call it, I think that looking into Japanese is the right move right now. Dare I say invest. I made an investment video yesterday as well talking about investing into the Japanese market. So the examples that I pulled up right here is just a Pokemon uh, Super Electric Breaker sealed case. 12 boxes for some reason i thought it was 20 boxes i'm tripping at 548 dollars 570 535 there's there's a lot of options right here so it's pretty much going to sit i would say 600 to 550 and i'm sure you could probably i've been looking on facebook marketplace and people sell sealed uh, uh, cases on japanese pokemon cards all the time maybe it's just come in california there's just such a wide variety of, of collectors and investors so the, the there is options out there for you guys especially when i am very curious let's just see so that's the super electric breakers case let's see uh how much uh surging sparks cases so on the flip side and i do understand this is only half of uh surging sparks but surging sparks sealed case you know there's one right here listed for 15 um let's see another one for 12 um, that's pretty much what it's going to be like for 1299 so yeah we can see these cases yeah going for you know 1200 bucks there's, there's there's options right here like i said but at what point do we think that people are going to finally switch over to or switch back <laughs> to japanese i it just it feels like japanese because i have been back into the game you know five six years but it just feel, it feels like japanese was always the better option but um I was gone for the whole black and white and XY era, so, so I don't know how those sets performed over in Japan. And then on the other half of Surging Sparks, we have Paradise Dragona. I was finding some for 550 to 460 um, sealed cases. Let me just open an eBay listing. Again, 12 boxes. And a huge tip if you do think about um, investing in to Japanese uh, sealed products, just make sure it has a lot of good reviews. You go do your research on like Reddit, go hop in some discords, and then maybe you know ask questions in those uh, chats to see if, if these these sellers are reputable. Back in the day, um, people would uh, extremely tamper with Japanese booster boxes, but I think that in the Scarlet and Violet era, even somewhat in the Sword and Shield era, towards the later end, it's calmed down. It's it's almost non-existent, but it's still out there. But just make sure um, that you guys are, are getting a safe deal. The, the lowest price doesn't always necessarily mean the best deal. If you combine those two, so we had the surging, so we had, uh, what was that? Pretty much $1,000 for two of the cases. We have to think that these these price okay so so the surging sparks sealed case was selling for what thirteen or whatever so saving like together uh, two three hundred dollars you're buying it in Japanese and you're getting tw you're getting twenty four boxes I, I I would think that at some point that the Japanese collection that your Japanese sealed investment would eventually catch up to English but I could be completely wrong.
going forward into 2025, I'm just gonna start investing into Japanese sealed cases. And when I say investing, that's also collecting. Um, am I gonna crack these boxes, these sealed cases open? I think I'm gonna have, you know, maybe one case and to tuck away and forget about it forever. And then one to potentially open up, you know, one day with my family or kids or, or trade, like I always say, to reinvest into my personal collection. But it's, it's, it's just something to think about. And it's, it's a question I wanted to ask my audience. Do you think, you know, the, the three, $400 difference in Japanese, Japanese equivalent Surging Sparks, the two of the sets, that you wouldn't get your money out of it? That this wouldn't be a plus in the investing category? I believe so. I believe that there is such a huge demand for Japanese Pokemon cards is just printed it to the ground. I think once Pokemon Japan cuts back on some of the supply, we are gonna see some of these cards rise up in price, which does that make me happy? No, not necessarily. But in all honesty, I love how readily available it is and I love how I could pretty much scoop up any single I want for pretty much pretty dirt cheap. And then on the last video, we talked about the uh, Super Electric Breaker Pikachu, the Surging Sparks Pikachu that everyone is going crazy over. You can get this one in a PSA 10 because I wasn't sure what this card was going for raw, but I did find one in a PSA 10. That's the real one I wanted to look at. It's going for 370, best, best offer, 370. Another advice or tip for you guys that are buying some of these um, PSA 10s from Japan, send an offer, maybe, you know, a $20, $30 less offer. They more than likely will accept. And it's good to establish a relationship with some of these sellers. I pretty much only buy from, you know, three or four sellers on eBay. And then I, you know, we you create this this uh, this trust in, in the said seller and you know what you're getting every single time. But the biggest Pikachu in a Super Electric Breakers is going for you know, 400 bucks, let's just say that, and a PSA 10 is pretty insane when we all know that, what is it, $500 in English? I just saw a short this morning, a four or $500 at a card show. So that thing is just, it's just gone. It's gone for now. I think that that thing is like the definition of an overheated card. Do I think that thing is natural? I know that there's so many people that believe that the growth is natural and that it's it, it it needs to hold that price. But I'm telling you guys, man, I've been in here for quite some time and I've seen some crazy manipulation. And I think that this is just the example of just an overinflated pumped up card. I, I really think that even this card is pumped up at $400 for the Japanese version and a PSA 10. I mean, yeah, it's a great card. It's, it's, it's a super modern card. And I don't think the art is that good. And I do, I cannot believe that we have changed our opinions on rainbow cards overnight. I just, I just don't believe it. I don't see it. I believe obviously that they're correlated, the Japanese pricing to the English, English pricing, you know, they're correlated in some, some sense, but, but I think that this is not the time to be buying these cards. If you are looking to own this Pikachu, if you really need this Pikachu, I just don't think it is the time. I also watched a Pokey and E video where Brian was talking about how um, if you want to make money as a Pokemon, Japanese Pokemon card booster box seller is that you make money by selling, you know, a crap ton of the product and the margins are small, but when you sell so much of it, you're going to make money. And like you said, we have two Pokemon business owners saying that everyone's happy, that they're happy that they're making money, even though, you know, small profits, but they're, they're happy. The collectors are happy. I just think that this part of the Japanese market is just so healthy. And and to be completely honest, I believe that the English market is extremely unhealthy. Once I saw people fighting over tins at Costco, the 151 tins, I was like, oh, we're done. We're absolutely cooked in English. I, I did go to Costco yesterday to get a new pair of contacts. I just took a peek of what was left. And I think there was like some Paldean Fates tins, which I'm good. The, the it's, it's so crazy to me that in you know the english market we are paying forty dollars for uh, you know what is it six pounding and fates tins and there's guaranteed nothing but we can literally just get a shiny treasures ex box in japanese for the same price 40 bucks and have a guaranteed hit so it's it doesn't make too much sense for me and that was like my whole um transfer over back into japanese i was just like why am i gonna pay 55 dollars for a booster box and then get like 
one EX card. It just doesn't make any sense that for, for the value of my dollar. So that's gonna be it for today's video. It's just a quick one. I just wanted to talk about to the Japanese Pokemon market once again and just show you guys that there is some really good deals out there if you want to invest in some sealed cases. And until tomorrow, I'll catch you guys with a fresh new video. Peace out.